so transporter refueled um i'm not sure what the point of having a jason uh, a jason statham movie without jason statham is so the whole point about the transporter series i love jason statham as i think this show understands uh, at wittertainment we are fans of jason statham so jason statham did three transporter movies i know somebody don't some people don't like three i actually think three is i think three has some of the best transporter scenes in it however jason having now moved on to other things uh, they've decided to reboot the transporter series so ed screen comes along and he has is given the i have have to say rather thankless task of stepping into jason statham's suit and jason statham's car and uh, this time the uh, adventure plays out in the riviera where the main action consists of him driving around three bewigged platinum b- blondes intent on wreaking high-tech revenge on the pimps who once hideously exploited them there is a subplot about his father played by ray stevenson being kidnapped in order to make him do what he doesn't want to do here's a clip so what's your plan well i was going to keep this a surprise but seeing as you asked i've been thinking about buying that that's a nice fishing boat for a guy with a worker's pension. Junior, I don't think you have one ounce of wriggle room to moralize to me about how I earn my living. And what do you mean by that? Oh, nothing. I'm sure all your clients are movie stars, captains of industry, dignitaries. Well, I don't ask, they don't tell. I should tell you something. Oh, look, uh, Miss Unknown is calling again. And what would make you think that Unknown is a miss? I'm just guessing. Hello? This is the transporter. <laughs> There's uh, something in the press notes that says that what they were trying to do this time was to uh, was to deepen the character and give the character backstory and sort of because the whole point before was he was kind of two dimensional and actually what they wanted was three dimensional. Rookie mistake, absolutely rookie mistake. The big problem with this is that it ends up looking like uh, you know an advert for a particular brand of car and you keep thinking actually all this does is demonstrate exactly what it was that was great about the transporter movies was Jason Statham. I think it would have, you know, the the, the car chases are as inconsequential as ever. People get run off the road, nobody cares. There's a bit with a a car and a plane, but we've kind of seen all that stuff before done with Fast and the Furious. But the most important thing is that the fight sequences lack personality. And it's a, it's very easy to imagine that the fight sequences in all action movies are just fight sequences. But in fact, fight sequences are like dance sequences. They have their own rhythms, they have their own personalities, and it's very much down to, to the performer. Jason Statham is a superbly physical actor. He may not be the world's greatest uh, you know, thespian in terms of his vocal delivery, although as he demonstrated in Spy, actually he's supremely uh, conscious of his own image and his own limitations, and he can, and he can play with them when, when given the chance to do so. In the Transporter movies, it's all to do with the way in which Statham moves the way in which he's you know he's just a joy to watch unfortunately you don't get that here it's not that it's particularly bad performance it's just that it's like watching a covers band it's like watching uh you know a, a, a reunion of some famous rock group but without the without the guy that everybody paid to see so what all you get is some car chases, a huge advert for a particular brand of car, some sort of nonsensical stuff which looks like an outtake from a uh, Robert Palmer 1980s NAF pop video, and a notable absence of Jason Statham and his oil wrestling finesse.